Hello everybody, I'm Justin. I'm Megan. Yeah, yeah. I change <laughs> it up each time, I like to keep you guys on your toes. Yeah, yeah, he screws with us, it's just, just yeah. mean. We're on The Last King. If anyone has the answers to the questions that burn in your mind, it's the cast and crew of The King in Yellow. With no other leads to pursue, you put on your best clothes and head to 1452 Atlantic Avenue, where a woman named Constance Dumaine is hosting an event in the celebration of the play's one-night engagement in Arkham. We have done all the setup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have drawn our opening hands. Mm -hmm. My top card is revealed, and I could not be happier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so what we have then here is, just want to get the uh, symbols available. Yeah. Nice. Uh, the foyer, which is as an action resign, having found valuable information about the production, you depart and plan your next move. I appreciate that you say foyer. People who say foyer. Really foyer. Me. It's too American. <laughs> it is. Foyer. A foyer. So three doom. Uh, fashionably late, and then discovering the truth. We just have to get as many clues as we can. When an investigator is eliminated by defeat or resignation, place each of that investigator's clues on this act instead of placing them on their location. Objective, find as many clues as you can and then get out of this awful place. Get out! Uh, the dude, what was it? He has no hands. Who has no hands? Shall I take your coat? The doorman asks as you enter. It takes a moment before you realize the doorman has only bloody stumps where he should have hands. Right. The doorman. Gross. But I'm wearing my nicest clothes. Yeah, don't don't touch him with your blood hands. That's just gross. All right, well, I'm feeling pretty stoked about my turn, so I'm going to go. Go first. Magnifying glass for free. It's like an upgraded magnifying glass. Uh, I need resources. You sure do. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go down to one because we're going to play Dr. Milan Christopher for our first action. Nice. And for our next two actions, let's get both these clues. Do it. Six. Seven to two. Justin's excited. He's talking fast. I am. <laughs> Get a clue. Gain a resource with Dr. Milan Christopher. Let's go again. All right. We golden. We golden. All right. You're up, Jenny. Okay. I'm going to try for action efficiency here. All right. So we're going to use emergency cash to yep. gain three resources nice. to spend six of them. To play Leo de Luca. So then you're left with two. Sure I am. And I have two actions remaining. I sure do. Um, oh, let us... Uh, let's move. Where can we go? Um, you can move to any of these spaces. Yeah. Well, we'll leave Jordan Perry. You have a lot of actions. Talking to Ashley could be pretty, pretty sure, easy for you. Let's go talk to Ashley. All right. So you go into the ballroom. After you perform a parlay action in the ballroom, gain two resources. Group limit once per phase. Mm, nice. Pretty nice. Very good. Very good. Um, and then you have one action left, right? What a day. I'm going to Lone Wolf. Got my one more. Wolf or Nice. So it cost you one. <laughs> cost me one. Uh, but you're gonna get it back. I gain one, so I'm still at two. Cool. And a turn, resources and cards. I gain one, you gain two. So you actually go to three. I sure do. Got some guts. Alright, Doom Bongs. Thanks. Uh Peril. Brain test. Thank goodness that the man in pallid mask is not in play currently. Um, okay, brain test two. I'm just gonna go three to fail take two horror. No, commit guts. Sure. Five to five to two. Near you. Minus two. If you fail, place one of your clues on your location. You pass That's and you fine. get to draw a card. Oh, so do. I always forget that bit. I do too, usually. Okay, great. Okay, I did this one. Uh, tough crowd. Uh, each investigator must spend one additional action to parlay. Okay. Uh, my turn's pretty simple. We're going to move in here. Reveal the courtyard. Which is, after you enter Courtyard, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If it's an enemy, draw it. It was not. Nice. Um, actions two and three, we're going to test talking to Constance today. Look, 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 look. Six to three. Sounds good. Let's grab that clue. You're up. 
How many actions to talk to Ashley? Three currently, because of this. Because of him? Yeah. Okay. You do gain two resources when you do it. You also gain one resource because you're a lone wolf. I sure am. All by myself. Except Leo's also there, but he doesn't count. Shh. He's not people. He's just like skulking in yeah. the corner. I don't actually see him, so I'm like, I'm not a wolf. <laughs> um, yeah, let's uh, let's spend some some actions. To so you'll there. spend three, but you also gain two resources. Beauty. There's six. Awesome. And then for my last action. I think I'm just going to drop that. Cool. All right, and a turn resources and cards. Yeah, I'll come back. Now you're getting closer to talking to Jordan Perry. Who is someone we've actually never interviewed in any of the playthroughs I've done. Oh! Never talked to Jordan. That's so exciting. Hopefully he doesn't turn into a monster. Yeah, that would suck. Here you go, evil card for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, roaches. Discard any item assets from play. Rex the shroud value of my location. Oh, ballroom. Four. Search. Gross. Oh, no. We advance. It's my fault. Oh. Uh, if it isn't our final guest, the doorman announces, Miss Divine, your presence is here has been long awaited. You swear you've seen the symbol on her amulet before. Well, now the real party can begin, she declares, then heads off to mingle. Find the bystander with the fewest clues on it. I guess we could do... If we do, mo if we do this one, mm -hmm. I can move in here and talk with Ashley. Yep. Because then you can deal with the roaches. Get out of there. Those roaches are pretty tough. They're tough right now. They're very tough. Yeah. They're like then... big motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, shuffle the discard pile into the deck. Uh, and we are on the... Um... Whoopsie. When Doom would advance, remove all the Doom and play one sickening reality. So sickening we're on the reality. phase where they're going to start getting a little bit no. creepy. No! I had so much more talking to do. Yeah. I mean, I think we can get... We'll get Ashley. You can start making your way to Perry. Yeah. Making my way downtown. Going fast. Grabbing lots of resources. <laughs> okay. But now it's our turn. It sure is. All right. So I'll go first. We go one. Um, two, three. We'll talk to Ashley. Uh, gain two resources as well. Um, flip this card and resolve its text. Win the last... Ashley's song is beautiful and haunting and you find yourself mesmerized by its melody. You don't know why the lyrics call to you, but for some reason you cannot get them out of your head. Above the city, the storm clouds rage and waves crash through the gilded cage. The skies open the path above to Las Carcosa. Below the earth, the salt water seeps, the shadows fall as the red sun sleeps, the ocean opens the path below to dim Carcosa. Remember that you interviewed Ashley. Flip this card back over to its bystander side. Those are my actions. Nice. Um, you can try to evade them. I might be able to help you. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. The other thing I can do is this. Fast. I'll move you here so their shroud becomes a lot lower. Ooh, that, that is helpful. That is very helpful. Um. <sighs> I lost every location. Okay. Right, Ashley, I'm just going to tuck you over here. Okay. I'm going to Yeah, I'm gonna use this to fast, play only on my turn, disengage from an enemy, engage with you, move to real location with no enemies. Nice. Hang out with Jordan Perry. Cool, hey Jord. Uh, after you perform oh, you also gain one because you started in a spot all by yourself. Because I moved you at the end you of my did turn. Move you yep. Nice. After you perform a parlay action in the living room, draw one card. Limit once per round. Now I just need 
Okay, so that would be one. No, it was fast. Yeah, so you currently have spent none of your actions. Perfect. I'm going to gain a resource. Nice. And talk to Jordan, because it's 10, right? Yep. Yep. So just test. Test two. We will make that five to two. Nice. Yep. Perfect. Draw a card. You have two actions and left. And I draw a card because I was successful with him too. Yes, though. yeah. Beauty. Um, We're just gonna. Mm, no, because I don't have any of that anymore. You don't spend it. Oh. You just, just have, you to, have, have it. to have it. Yeah. So you could you could interview him again. You could play uh, cards. Yeah. Oh, then I will interview him again. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah that's what yeah. I'm gonna do. Cool. Three to two. Uh... Four to two. two. Yeah, minus two is yeah, nice. Up. Here, you can uh, interview him. Mr. Perry is indifferent to your questions at first, but he grows more talkative as you express interest in his many investments. You learn that he has financed several productions of The King in Yellow in the past, not just tonight's performance. It was the director, Mr. Engram, who convinced me to invest, he explains. The first time I met him was in Paris, at a cafe in Mont... Montparnasse. <laughs> sure. What was his name? What was the name? Uh, he ruminates for some time, trying to remember. Anyway, he convinced me that not every investment is about capital gain. One might consider me a fool to believe him, but I don't regret my decision. I've been financing his productions ever since. He smiles and pauses for a long time, lost in memory. Uh, a lot of French. Lagano, Purdue. That was <laughs> that was the place. Yes, yes. What a night. Remember that you interviewed Jordan. Put this card back over. Well, we have a rule with Brent Travis and I. If we ever don't know a word, we just say taco. <laughs> so no, no, no. I'm not trying to really botch my French. I like to imagine he was saying, like, those uh, sub French players as he was talking. <laughs> I think you still have even one action left. I sure do, actually. Um, let us... Let's play Prepare for the Worst. Nice. Search the top nine cards for a weapon. Search for some some fighting gear. Nope. Nope. Yeah! You still look through the rest. You, you still reveal nine. You only have one weapon, mm -hmm. but... Nope. Cool. Okay. Um, Those are it. That's it. Enemy phase. So she can move. Let's move her to Ashley. Um, we gain resources and draw cards. Oh, so many resources. Doom bongs. Evil card for you. One doom on the current agenda. Oh, no. Uh, it costs one extra action to talk with people this turn. Okay. Okay, so what's our plan? We probably want to get Constance. Yeah, I could, well, what is the best you do? How many cards do you have in hand? Five. Five, okay. She requires six. I do have six. I'm just worried about who's gonna turn into a monster. Right? First, yeah. Like I want to get, I want to get Constance. Okay. I can get her reason like very easily. I have six versus her three. Yeah. So maybe I do that. Maybe you head up to Sebastian. Sure. And then if Sebastian doesn't turn next turn or Ishimaru doesn't turn next turn, I'll go up to Ishimaru. Sure. Sounds and, good. And then we'll want to converge and then get the f out of here. Yeah. Get out. All right. Action one. Oh, we drew evil cards. Yes. Yes, we did. Action one, two, and three. We'll talk with her. Do it. Six to three. Do it. Six to three. Yeah. Uh, Constance! Nice. nice. Alright, let's talk to her. 
Well, hello, Constance. How it's are you? It's so pleasant to meet you. It doesn't take long for the amiable hostess to open up to you about the play. Oh, yes, my husband and I helped Sebastian produce the whole thing, she explains. I was a little hesitant at first, but that director, Mr. Nigel Angram, my, what a talented man, she laughs. He's so very eccentric. Did you know before rehearsals even began, he had us recite some kind of... Why, I suppose it was an oath of sorts. A formality, I guess. You know the creative types and their silly rituals? Yes, I do. But afterward, we were filled with so much spirit, she smiles, zeal in her eyes. From that moment on, we had no hesitations. The King of Yellow would be the most successful performance in Arkham history. Bravo. Bravo. Constance. Check. All right, so now we just hope for the best that one of these three... We have a 60% chance of someone we interviewing flipping to a monster. So Eesh. that's pretty good. It's like, not bad. It's, it's not I'd bad. rather have ones we have, have interviewed than yeah, lose yeah, one yeah. of these guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, that's it for me. Okay, I'm going to... I can move. Yep, let's go visit Sebastian. Cool, let's see what this location is. Yep. Uh, after you end your turn in the gallery, yeah. test brain one. If you fail, place one of your clues on the gallery. It's only brain one, which actually we can't get by any of these, so it's not that bad. Sick. And he's just a brain three test. Brain three. Brain three. Okay. Let's, um... Yeah, let's just, we'll... Straight up, three three. Maybe. We'll see. What's that? Minus two. Nope. Place one of your clues on your location. <sighs> yes. Rude. Okay. We'll do it again. Nice. Five, Five to three. three. Yeah, yep. better. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Uh, he hits two actions to interview him, so you couldn't have done the second one. Oh, because they moved first. Yes. So you could take take that back. We'll yep. remove this. Put this on him. But you could, for your last action, investigate here to grab your clue back. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. And that's three to one. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nailed it. All right, after you end your turn here, test brain two. Okay. Let's... If you fail, place one of your clues on the gallery. We just keep getting lost. Nice. Yep. Nice. Okay, uh, cards and resources. She can move. She'll just go talk to Jordan Perry. Oh, that's Ashley. She'll come talk to her. There's so many resources. Ah, here we go. Okay, that's not bad. All right, let's see who's getting uh, turned. Drama, suspense. Marries and Doom Threshold, and sit or move all Doom and play and randomly resolve one of the sick new reality cards under the scenario reference. Please be somebody we've already interviewed. Please be somebody we've already interviewed. Constance laughs as the skin begins to slough off of her body. Blood trickles from her shedding skin, leaving a trail of crimson on the carpet where she walks. One might expect her to cease functioning with her ribs and organs exposed, but she barely seems to notice. Each investigator or Constance take one horror. That's me. That is you. Uh, move each clue from Constance to her location. Flip this card to its enemy side. Switch it with a bystander and remove Constance from the game. While Constance is exhausted, she gets plus three fight. Oh, you're a spicy little monster. Spicy. Evil card for you? Oh, yes. Oh, fuck. Actually, no, I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, we're gonna play this off the top. We're gonna play this one from my hand to not have this card trigger. Nice. So I would rather not place Doom on the agenda. Discard item assets from play and or from your hand with the total printed resource cost of at least X, where X is the shroud value of your location, which is one. Um, so you have to discard one uh, cost of at least one from your hand of an item. Okay. Um. I'll get rid of my double loop. We are the loser. Oh, he's not an item. He's a human. He can't corrode. Oh, it has to be. An yeah, item. it'll say item under the picture. Ew. It's like your fire axe is an item. Yep, that is literally the only one I have. <laughs> Great. Yeah, better than. I don't know. Getting rusty axe. Okay, Constance Dumaine, you're tough. You have six health. Mm. I have one foot. And we are not in the same location. I got it. It's okay. 
You got uh, Mind over matter, fast play only during your turn. Until the end of the round, you may use your book in place of your fist or foot. Nice. So I'm going to use my six foot to, my six book to evade her. You're throwing books at her. Yeah. <laughs> six of them. <laughs> Uh, reveal another token. If you fail, place one Doom on a lunatic enemy in play. We don't. Nice. So this is going to, what we call this, uh, a Jenny Barnes problem in the future. She's going to be in charge of evading her in the future. Nice. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Let's move over here to talk to um, Ishimaru. Or is it better if we stay together? Mm, no, go talk to Ishimaru. Sure. Okay. Whoops. Wah, wah, wah. Thank you. All right. Oh, you thought I was gonna be nice. So no. <laughs> <laughs> you just throw it further across the room. Yeah. Um, action three. I suppose I'm actually gonna use this time to prepare myself for war with some shriveling. That's it for me. about my axe. Yeah, it's rough. Mm -hmm. um... <sighs> oh, but it only takes one, takes one action to talk to him now. Yes, he's back to normal. We're just going to do three to three then. Cool. Yep. Oh, she's a pro. She's a pro at talking. <laughs> Again. Again. Uh, Reveal another token. If you fail, place one doom on a... Oh, now this gets spicy. I'd really rather not. You have two actions remaining. I sure do. I have no helpful talking to him cards. We're just gonna try again. Yeah. Three to three. Yeah. Skull's the only bad one. It really is. Yeah! Nice. Nailed it. Here, you can talk with him. Okay, let's do this thing. You can tell Sebastian is a dramatic man from the way he speaks about tonight's performance. Better than last year. Indeed, the best I've ever seen. You ask him whether this was the first performance of the King in Yellow he'd helped produce, and he shakes his head vigorous, in vis vigorous disagreement. No, no, of course not. We've done many, many shows before. Paris, Florence, New York. That's why this isn't uh, even the first time the play has been... Why, this isn't even the first time this play has been performed in Arkham. Surprised, you ask him, or you question him further. Well, all right, if you must know, it, I had nothing to do with the previous show in Arkham. It was several decades ago, before Ward Theatre was even built. In fact... Part of M Mr. Engram's goal tonight was to bring the story of the King in Yellow to a wider audience. Hmm. Remember that you interviewed Sebastian, blah, blah, blah. Here, we'll hide him. And you probably want to get out of here so you don't have to do that brain test for clues. Sure do. So there's tons of options. I mean, there's two. You can go to the living room, mm -hmm. or you can come here with Constance, because she's going to stand up next turn, and you can evade her again, because then she goes back down. Otherwise, she's going to be following around and start trying to kill us. Yeah, let's go visit Constance. Hi, creepy Constance. Yeah, she's a little, a little too sociable. <laughs> uh, end of turn. Resources and cards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she stands up and she engages you. Hi. Oh, did you gain your one clue for being by yourself? Nope. <laughs> you, you definitely need more. Uh, one resource, right? Yeah, one resource. Yeah, Sorry, okay. no, one resource. <laughs> my like... one clue would be incredible. That would be awesome. There it is. All right, so if we in interview Ishimaru, we can then just get the fuck out of here, which would be nice. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay. Evil cards for you. Oh, let's take it. No! Roaches. Okay, what are the actions that don't provoke attack opportunities? Fight, evade, parlay, or resign. Okay. Okay, we have a plan. Justin has a plan. As long as Justin has a plan. And that plan is draw a card and get attacked by a cockroach. <laughs> we now have six cards in our hand, so we can talk with her twice. Parlay does not provoke attack of opportunities. Nice! So we're going to test four to two.
Minus two, grab a clue off her. Let's go again. Four to two. We got it, we interviewed everybody. Nice. Now we just gotta get it, gotta get it. One of us is missing a clue, and I think it might be me. It's possible. Yeah. I also might have just gotten handed a card at some yeah. point and not flipped over my clues. No matter what, um, there should be 12 clues possible to get. <laughs> all right, Ishimaru. In speaking with Miss Ishimaru, you discover that she designed all of the costumes worn in tonight's performance save for one. That stranger character. Peculiar role, is it not? For whatever reason, Mr. Anger would not allow me to change his outfit, not one bit. And that mask, she scoffs. Did you know one time I found that actor, I don't even know his name? I found him drawing a strange pattern behind the backdrop for the second act. You know, the one with the two sons. He gave me a terrible stare, and I dare say I jumped right off the stage and ran. You ask what the pattern looked like, and she finds a nearby napkin and begins to draw. Her recreation is much more detailed than you expected. Rings of concentric semicircles lined with strange runes, and at the center is a pair, is a pair of wavy lines. You ask her what it means, and she shrugs and says, haven't the slightest clue. Remember that you interviewed Haruko. Yay! We talked to him all. We did. Now we just gotta get out. Indeed. But we're a little bit overwhelmed. We are a little bit. Uh, Where are we trying to get to? The foyer? The foyer. The foyer. The foyer. Got it. Okay, I've got a lot of, like, evade cards in my hand, so that's good. That's, that's something, at least. Oh, he engaged you, so you take one damage, and we deal one damage to him. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's start with a cheap shot. Oh, nice. And, uh, yeah. We'll Who are you go targeting? with probably Constance. So, six to four? Oh. <laughs> no, minus two is the lowest we go right now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. minus two is the worst. Apart from the skull. The, the auto fail. All auto the auto failing. fail, yes. That's yes, the only sir. one. So yeah, your chances are, yeah. are are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say good. I'm gonna be bold and say good. That is too bold, perhaps. Yes. We shall see that one. Oh. Nice. So then you automatically evade her, right? Uh yes. Uh if you succeed by two or more, automatically evade the attack damage. Which you did, because you got zero. Sure did. So then she takes one damage and she is evaded. Nice. And... Uh, 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 what do I want to do with this one? Okay, I can just get out next turn, assuming nothing bad happens. I'm just going to... Disengage from him? Yeah. Disengage and move. If you want, for your la last action, you could resign. You can get out of here. We draw one less evil card, and I'm pretty confident I can get out on my own next turn. Worst case scenario, I die inside the house. Okay, I'm leaving you. Bye! Yeah, bye! <laughs> All right, end of turn. This cockroach attacks me. Doom advances. Let's see who's coming to join the party. Please be Sebastian Moreau. I believe that you can get Sebastian. Sebastian, don't be Ishimaru. That's the only one I don't want. So I have a 25% chance of this being bad. All right, it's Sebastian Moreau. Nice, you yeah. called it. Sebastian's passionate debate with another guest. Guest turns ugly. His temper transforms not just his demeanor, but his body as well. Thick fur sprouts from his skin along with several bulbous growths that leak pus and blood. His suit tears and his body distorts, bones snapping and muscles bulging. He is as much a beast as he is a man. Nah, he's just like a really got really bad acne. Yeah. So like, this is just dudes normal. Yeah. It's just, that's just a dude. He's just, yeah, he's just got like evil acne, card. Going through some stuff. Test brain two. All right. You got brain. I have four to two. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Take two horror. That's life. Don't die on me, Normie. That's life. So my actions are one, two, and then resign. So I'll take two damage from this cockroach in nice. order to do so. Nice. But I'm able to resign from this. Nice. I keep my body intact. Yay! All right. We did it. We did the thing! We did the thing. So, let's see what happens. <sighs> you know, 
Unless, at least madness. The state of being mentally ill, especially severely. Extremely foolish behavior, state of frenzy, decay of activity. Why are you looking to this side? There's no reason to flip to Act 1B. Flip back to Act 1A. All right. You win this one, game. <laughs> um, if, a resolution, if no resolution would leash and at least one investigator resign, go to Resolution 1. All right. The brisk autumn air because um, the brisk autumn air embraces you as you exit the manor. There is no doubt in your mind that the cast and crew of the King and Yellow have become affected by madness. Perhaps it's getting to you as well. You feel an encroaching darkness, a presence in your mind not unlike the gaze of the stranger. Startled, you peer about the front yard for the first time since escaping the manor. The scene is different. The front windows are not smashed as they were when you approached. The trail of blood you had noticed on the porch has been wiped clean. And instead of the disturbing, warped music you heard upon entering, the soothing tones of slow jazz drift out of the courtyard. That's where they told us. I'm like, where did they tell us this? <laughs> In your campaign log under VIP's interview, record the name of each character you interviewed. All, all of, of them. them. <laughs> In your campaign log, record under VIP slain the number... We had 12 clues. We did. Yeah. That's matter that matters. Um, they should be here. Uh, none. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X of each card in the victory display. There is none. That's fine. Uh, for every two clues on the act deck, back deck when the game ended, choose an investigator earn one additional experience point. So we each gain six? So we each gain three. We can each gain three. Okay. Deal. Sounds sick. Uh, proceed to interlude one. Lunacy's reward. Okay. Megan must decide. I must. Things seem to have calmed down. Perhaps we should go back inside and investigate further. Uh, I don't trust this place one bit. Let's block the door and get out, the hell out of here. Or, if these people are allowed to live, these horrors will only repeat themselves. We have to put an end to this. We have to kill them. <laughs> now let's block the door and get out of here. We so, talked to everybody. They, they, he just got some bad acne. It's all good. Like, peace out. All right. Uh, you can't trust your senses. This is all a trick. Attempt an attempt to lure you back inside. You're no safer now than you were before. Swallowing your fear, you set to work barricading the front door of the manor using several of the heavy stone benches lining the cobblestone path in the front yard. You hope it's enough, but you aren't willing to stick around to find out. As soon as you're done, you head back to your vehicle and drive toward the south side where you hope to find answers. It says the note, the door isn't going to stop them. In your campaign log, record that you fled the dinner party. Fled. Dinner party. Remove all cultist tokens from the bag Ooh, bye, and cultist. add tablet tokens. Oh. The story continues in scenario three, Echoes of the Past, which we have not beaten. Nope. But maybe today we will. Maybe. Maybe. Bye, YouTube.